Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a new video on to buy or not to buy. And today we're going to be talking about the Triceratops and also the Bite Mark and also the Fossil Flyer. So let's get into this. It's only going to be a short video now. We're going to be talking about these. Should you buy them or should you not? Now, my first opinion of this skin was, to be honest, it was quite a cool concept. I thought it was a really nice skin, especially if you own the Rat skin as well. But personally, it's not going to be a skin I'm going to be buying. Why am I not going to be buying this skin? Well, it stands out quite a lot. Personally, I like to use skins that look cool, but don't stand out so much. A red skin on a green and blue environment is really going to stick out like a thumb, and people are going to be able to tell exactly where you are. Personally, it's not the skin for me. However, it is part of the Dino Guard set, and if that is your theme and you do really like dinosaurs, maybe you're an Ark Survival player or something like that, then again, like I said before the other day to my friends, so Fortnite itself is very, very similar to Ark Survival. And to be honest, the building concepts in Ark Survival are near enough the same as Fortnite, just a lot faster in Fortnite, whereas Ark's a lot slower. A little bit different, but you get the idea where I'm coming from with the same sort of clunkiness. So the Triceratops, what a cool skin. I think it's really cool. I just think if it was green rather than red, I think it'd be a lot better. But I do like it. It's something that I would buy. I'm not a fan of the bat bling, but the front skin, I would buy it if it was a lot cheaper. Personally, I personally think it should be a epic skin, but potentially we could see it reducing price in future, maybe as a bundle or something. You'd be able to buy both of, the, both of them maybe for 2,500, 2,600, maybe even 3,000 for both of them. That would be a pretty good deal. That's what we can see hopefully coming into the future. Now, moving on to the next item, the Bite Mark. The Bite Mark is an awesome pick, and to be honest, it's one of my favorite ones. It's like one of them classic fairground toys where you press at the bottom and the mouth moves up and down. I would purchase this. I think it's a really cool pickaxe. And to be honest, it is one of my favorite ones. It's not too big. The head's quite big, but the body of the staff is really small and ideal size for my sort of size. You look at the pickaxe that I use, pretty small. The staff is actually quite thicker. I'm looking for the thinnest pickaxe in the game and that's what I will be purchasing. And this one almost comes to it apart from the head. So to be honest, it's a really nice skin. Then Fossil Flyer, what an awesome skin this is as well. I think this is a really cool one. For only 500 V-Bucks, you can definitely get your bang for your buck on this one. It's a really awesome one to grab. And to be honest, I do like the red on it. And it doesn't really matter what color your glider is. Uh, say hello to these people in the game. Shout out to you guys currently waiting in the game. I apologize for everyone waiting in there. I've been AFK for two hours with my game on public. So I apologize for that, guys. But you get the idea. The skins are absolutely awesome. If you are new around here, do stick around because I bring out reviews, like reviewing skins every time new ones pop. So I'll be reviewing all the skins, telling you guys should you buy or not. Yes, I think you should buy if you do like the skin a lot. But if you don't like the skin enough to buy for 2,000 V Bucks, I personally don't think it's worth it. If you're going to purchase a skin, purchase one that you really want. And with season four only around the corner, I wouldn't be spending your V Bucks on this. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And once again. This is Postbox Pat, signing out.